Yes, One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. One, two. I'm the missing link. I know y'all been missing me. Uh-huh. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six. Huh? Been gone for a minute, but I'm back in the mix. Come on. It ain't hard to see. What the game's been missing. Hey, oh, 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 we see you there. Oh. What's good? YouTube, it's your boy, here the gentleman, bring you another video. Okay, so today, I decided to do something different. So I got my bros here. Don't usually have them here, but they're here. These are my bros from Canton, so previously I was at a two-year college. I was upstate of Canton, but I came back to help my family out. So these are some of the bros, well, he, we actually went to high school together. So me and him been friends for mad long. But I met my bro Chris here, and my best friend Aaron, and there's the other one Theodore, but you know, he... <laughs> Doing things right now. Yeah, he's being a busy man. Yeah, he's busy, so you know, he don't got time to talk to the little people. But, so we decided to do a video of, what is it, five things that girls do that annoy guys. Yeah. Sorry, right, the first thing we got on the list is asking, asking all, all them questions. questions. <laughs> Why you girls ask so much questions? Too much questions. God damn. God damn. So much questions. Why do you ask so many questions? And the questions aren't even smart questions. Do you guys like actually think about the things you ask before you ask? Like it's just crazy. Think before you speak. You never heard of that phrase before? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to know like what do you mean? Like, girls, when they say it, what questions do they say that get you upset? It's just, like, when they ask the obvious questions. Like, let's say, oh, uh, I'm going to school, right? Then they're like, oh, so you're going to see me after? I'm like, yeah, okay. And then they'll be like, oh, so what are we going to do? I'm like, the movies or something? You want to do that? Like, oh, I don't know. Okay, so tell me what you want to do. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. So, okay. Shit like that. It, it could be the girls that, you know, hit you with the, um, so what are we after certain situations? That'd be blowing my too. I mean, I mean, am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, this is the way some yeah. girls do it. It depends. I'm not saying all girls do it because, you know, everybody. Nah, all girls it's not, it's not going to be tight all the time. I'm just saying. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I feels you. All right, so the second thing now. What's the second thing on that list, bro? So you think, yo, applying stupid logic to question. Girl logic. It's... Girl logic never makes sense to me, but you just never answer them because you know you're never going to win. No matter the situation, you could be absolutely right, but you're never right in a girl's eyes. They they always win. You always have to let them win. Stupid. You ain't never take... You got to take L's forever. Like, I learned... The best thing is to just say sorry. Uh, well, just learn to say sorry because that's what you're going to do most of the time in the relationship. Because <laughs> half the time, you're going to be right. But she's just going to still be upset at you. So you just say sorry, even though you're right, but you just say sorry. So you guys get over it. That's the best thing to do, just to get over things. Don't lose, I'm telling you. Even though it really hurts, it hurts, but... <laughs> Like, sometimes it, it just hurts my soul that I'm right. But you got to listen to them, like, make up logic that doesn't make any type of sense. But you just sit in there and you're like, man, she sounds so dumb right now. But at the same time, I know I'm right. But she's never going to tell me I'm right. So I just got to tell her she's right so we can get on with our lives. That's crazy. The argument that gets created because you're right and she's not going to let you be right because she thinks you're right. <laughs> really? No, we're not really? saying, like... There's times like girls are just not right at all. Like you guys have times where it's just like, okay, you actually are right. Like when I left up the toilet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like you guys gotta realize like yeah, y'all are right sometimes, but not all the time. Like I gotta realize that. I can't stress that enough. Like I'm gonna admit I'm gonna admit when I'm wrong. Most of the time. I I'm do too. about it. Sometimes. Even though y'all throw it in our face, but. Yeah. But I'm going to admit when I'm wrong. But girls, it's like, it's so hard for you guys to admit that you're wrong. It's like so hard. Just it's do it. It's like guys Just do it have, like Nike. Guys have oh. pride about certain things. I feel like girls have pride about questions. <laughs> so 
So question number three. What's what's number three on that that list, Christopher? Females who are not open minded. If you call me Christopher again, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> you no, know that's not my name. Don't mind them guys. They're all just like Christopher. <laughs> okay, so why don't you like that, Chris? I Before don't you? like females who are open minded. You don't? That are I not open minded, you mean no. what? I'm sorry, what? You mean that are not open minded. You said you don't like females that are open minded, but you <laughs> <laughs> gotta spray. Anyway, go on. Oh well, whatever. You get what I'm saying. No, I don't get what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I do not like females who are not open minded. I'll correct myself. Sorry. Okay. Because you because. know, you end up messing with a lot of boring females, you know. That that's the result of it, you know. You're trying to do something, be like, Oh, babe, let's try this. I don't feel like doing it. Really? Let me killing your boob. It's just like trying what? Oh, I don't know. It's a lot of shit. Hmm. Well, I know personally for me, it's just like, like for me, I love to listen to reggae and soca. I, I love it. It's just soca. like my go-to genre of music. So let's say if I'm just like listening to it and some girls be like, oh, I don't know what that is. Okay. You know, that that's reasonable. Some girls just don't know what it is because, you know, they're not open to that culture yet. Just based on like where they're from or who they hang around with. But let's say if I'm listening to it and they be like, oh my God, what is that? I would never listen to that. It's like, give it a chance. Like, you're n- mm. not even like exposed to it fully yet. It's one thing if you like try it and you don't like it, that's reasonable. But if you listen to it for like two seconds, be like, oh, I don't like it. Really? Come on. Come on, son. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Because I know there's plenty of cases where somebody doesn't like an activity or some type of music that I've done. And I give them, you know, a chance. Like, I'm like, all right, listen to these few tracks. And if you don't like it, then you could, I say, I'm not going to listen to it anymore. And they listen to a few tracks. They're like, oh, Brandon, it's kind of hot. They're like, (laughs) see, just got to listen. Just going to listen. Got to be open-minded. You got to try things. And that's another way. In one of my previous videos I was talking about, Sometimes you don't find what your talent is unless you f- do things out of your comfort zone. If you don't do things out of your comfort zone, how are you going to find out things that you might potentially be good at? Got to embrace new cultures. Got to try new things. You might find out that you're good at cricket because you, you, you played cricket. You, you didn't know. So dying. <laughs> but you got to give it a try first. You got to be open-minded. I mean, I'm not going to front. I used to be like that. Yeah, I know I used to be like that. Yep, Chris uh-huh. didn't do nothing but... Play 2K and so, play ball. Ball is life. Yeah. Right? Hey man, uh, that was that was freshman year. Me, I, I'm not yep. that person anymore. And order so, surgeries and dominoes. <laughs> Fine. Now I look at him. <laughs> at least I got money now. <laughs> I yep. had no money back then. That's a story for another yep. time. Word. Anyway, guys, let's move on to the fourth question, which is. The girls who stand up in parties rest in peace. Well, why you go to parties? Why waste your money? Please, please, why? I have a question. Should I think you should change that one? Why? The girls who don't dance at parties, because oh. clearly the girls have to stand up to, <laughs> to get around. Okay, Brandon. <laughs> the girls who don't dance in parties. I'm very thank you. Sorry, I'm, it's your show, man. I told right. you guys I was like this. Yeah, because, you know, you have to stand up in order. Uh, okay, I'm going to shut up. I got you, man. I got you, man. But the girls who don't dance at parties, what you paying your money for? For what? Come on. They want to hear some good music, bro. You could do that at home. Nah. Well, well if you don't want to dance with other guys, cool. Because some girls are like that. You know, if you want to dance with, you know, your girlfriends or whatever like that, or even your boyfriend, you know, you just want to dance. Or you want to dance by yourself. That's fine. But it's just like if you come to a party and you're standing up on your phone, Snapchat, and the whole party is like, why did you come here? You're wasting space. And you're not giving nobody a wine. What's good with you? Like, why? Maybe maybe somebody's breath stinked or something. Or uh, they didn't wash their crotches. <laughs> <laughs> Dutchy crotches. Five feet up. You know what? Don't remind me. Please don't remind nobody. me. Nobody. <laughs> Please don't remind me. Somebody didn't use Dove. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I've met a couple of people like that. Facts? You're not going to say no names, though. You're going to keep that silent. 
The only people I want to see at parties standing up are the girls who don't have Wi-Fi at their house. No, they don't have music. If you ain't got music at your house, you should be at a party listening to music. They got Pandora. <laughs> but they need Wi-Fi for Pandora. That's they don't true. got mobile data. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> They don't got that T-Mobile plan, unlimited data. Unlimited everything? Yeah, that Metro. The Metro $40 PCA? for everything. Metro PC. Facts. Oh, okay. Anyway, guys, we're going to go into the last and final question, which is? It's the girls on social. Oh, you were saying it was one, right? The social media girls? Mm -hmm. The girls who just, you know, live on social media at parties or in general. But, or you do everything for the book. You do everything for the gram. Or you just look ugly in person, but on the gram you look like everything. Because you know there are a lot of girls like that. Yeah, I mean, social media is a way to branch out, meet new people. But don't lie to them. If you ugly, you ugly. Just let us like you for your personality. Don't, don't be using all that makeup, making yourself look all nice and then I see you in person. You look like me with long hair, like, <laughs> that's, that's say. terrible. Heck we say. <laughs> Not even just like the false advertising. I would say it's more along the lines of when some girls just put everything into like making their Instagram look good or Facebook, Snapchat, whatever the app is. It's just like, why do you do that? Go read a book. <laughs> do Yo, something. It, it filters his life. You need another life, man. That's, like, come on. That's not Natural point. beauty is the best beauty. You heard that from me. Unless you beat. Yeah, that's that's it. It. <laughs> your life is over. Yeah, unless you Fuck beat, then. I don't know that. I'm You're allowed that. to have makeup if you beat. We live in an era where everybody getting surgery, so you don't know what's real and what's fake. That's true. This is very true, but you also you also say a lot of people don't have money to do that. So <laughs> we went to Canton. Like, if you met anybody in Canton that had a surgical face, they had money and they shouldn't be in Canton. But Canton, not the only school. The, in this era, I haven't seen... I've seen so many, like, men who've turned into women. Fire. This is just crazy, and you can't even tell the difference anymore. And it's fire. Like, this era. And it's fire. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> I mean... It's not... I, I'm not gonna lie. It's bad. Thank you. Thank you. It's not bad for the reasons why people say it's bad. It's bad. I have no problem with you changing your body, because that's none of my business, but... Let somebody know. Let somebody know that you were previously a man. Don't, don't like lie and say you've been a woman all your life. Don't if you're gonna that. pursue that and do that, just be honest. There's like a lot of people they they've been saying they've been women for all their life, and you were a man. Like that's some information I should know before I like marry you or something. I, I'm not gonna personally do that, but Fine. you should. <laughs> But that's something that you should let somebody know. Like, I have no problem with gays, none, none of that. It's just like a, just a lot of, you know, false advertisement and people being very untruthful. Nobody likes being lied to. Come on. Anyway, guys, in no shape or form am I trying to come at gay people. I have nothing but respect for them. They're, they're cool as peoples. I have a bunch of gay friends, so it's cool. <laughs> anyway... That's the end of the video. Make sure if you like the video, you give it a thumbs up. Make sure if you're new to the channel, make sure you go subscribe. Um, I'll leave these guys' Instagrams in the description below. Make sure you follow me on all my social media networks, Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you follow my, my Facebook group, Twitter, Snapchat, all those other ones I forgot. And until you next time, peace. Yeah, I didn't know that.